What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a cardio and abs workout. There's absolutely no equipment required for today's routine. And it's broken up into four parts. In part one, we're getting started with a warm up. In part two, we're gonna do a total body cardio workout. And this round contains a chaos element. So at any point in time, when I say the word chaos, you are to stop whatever exercise you're performing and do five burpees. Part three is all about those abs. And in part four, we're finishing off with a cool down. If you're ready to get started, then let's burn it out. All right, we're starting with the warm up. First one is gonna be a multi-planar lunge. We need to get down on, into a high plank position on our hands and feet. Now we're gonna with our right foot, let's bring that right foot up by your right hand. We're gonna reach through to the left and then reach up and twist to the sky. Reach back through and then reach up. We really like this move because you're hitting so many different muscle groups and body parts at the same time. It's great to stretch out your legs, your thoracic spine, shoulders, chest, all warming up together on this one. And the purpose of this warm up is to get a little bit of mobility at the same time, raise your heart rate and your overall body temperature. All right, we're gonna switch sides. So go ahead and put that right hand down, right foot back, and then bring your left foot up by your left hand. Opposite side move now, reaching through to your right, and then reaching up. Trying your best to keep your back straight on this one. Don't wanna have your butt way up in the air. And everybody's gonna feel the stretch a little bit different places on this one, depending on where you're tight. A lot of different factors that play into that. Making sure to breathe here. And taking a moment to mentally prepare yourself for this work that we are about to perform. Reminding yourself what it is that brought you here today. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, up on our feet for the next one. We're moving into a hamstring sweep. Again, compound move here. Let's go ahead and put our right foot out on our heel, keeping that right leg straight. Let's swing those arms back, and at the same time, let's bend over. Feel that stretch in our hamstring, and then back up. Foot comes back, opposite foot now. Alternating legs, that right foot out, then your left leg out. Big arm circles, loosening up your shoulders, hamstrings, glutes, lower back. All at the same time, we like, we like these efficient moves in the warm up here. Just trying to get as much done in a shorter period of time. Nice big deep breaths. And as you progress through it, you can probably bend over just a little bit more every time. And five, four, three, two, one, zero, excellent. All right, one more move here in our warm up. Let's get a wide stance going. We're gonna do a squat opener. Toes pointed out just a little bit. Arms out in front of you. Let's squat back with the weight in our hips. Open up our chest muscles and shoulders. Come back up. This time we're gonna bring those arms up overhead as we squat down, perform an overhead squat and return. Back and forth between opening up that chest and opening up those shoulders overhead. Making sure to breathe. Keep your weight back in your heels and in your glutes as you're squatting down. 
breathe in on the way down and out on the way up excellent got another efficient move here warming up our upper and lower bodies at the same time let's do this one for just another 10 seconds legs and shoulders are feeling good and three two one zero shake it loose Time to get this workout started. You ready, Claudia? I'm loose, I'm ready to go. All right, let's do this has fit try. First move of the day is either gonna be a switch jump plus knee. Or a step back plus knee. So I'm switching legs, bringing that back leg up, driving that knee forward. And I am starting in a neutral position, stepping back, knee up, step back again, back to neutral, switch sides. You decide which variation is appropriate for you today. Both of these moves are kind of also put your brain to the test a little bit yeah. making sure to breathe throughout not holding your breath and throughout today's routine we're not going to count any repetitions so your goal is to just perform as many repetitions as you can in the lot of time period that's it keep it driving keep it moving it's a great one to get the party started because it's going to get your heart rate up real quick it's nice and warmed up that's it. Nice, consistent breathing. Nice, light ground contacts. If you have neighbors underneath you, we don't want them to hear you. Stand light on your feet. Let's go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Let's go. Last 10 seconds on this one. Let's go. How many can you get? Keep them moving for five, four, three, two, one zero all right keeping the party going i'm moving into a broad jump which is a big foot two footed jump and then i'm hopping back and i am doing forward and back hops like i'm just hopping over an imaginary line front and back you decide which variation is right for you if you're doing the broad jumps make sure that you're landing the weight in your hips taking a big power jump and if you're doing the front and back hops that you're also just nice and light on the balls of your feet. And you decide which variation is gonna be right for you today. You're a bouncy ball, not a rock on these. That's it. Pace yourself as a bouncy ball, returning that energy back into the ground. That's it. And if you need to switch back and forth between my variations and Claudius, feel free to do so. You got it. Keep it cranking, come on. Let's go, Hasfit Tribe. Getting that energy up right from the start. Yep. Going hard and fast today. We got last 10 seconds on this one. Let's go, let's go, push it. Getting as many as you can. Whoo, heart rate's already up. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh. We're getting your upper body involved next. We're headed to the floor. We're gonna do a little combo. Going from a child's pose into a planche push-up. So sitting back on your legs and heels in a child's pose. Now I'm coming forward, and as I do, I'm raising up off my knees. And I am on my knees. Keeping my elbows in, push-up, and back into that child's pose. You decide if you wanna come up onto your feet or if you wanna stay onto your knees. Now you notice this push-up's a little bit different because a planche push-up, you really have your body weight over your hands. Also, if you're doing it up on your feet, notice I'm not on the balls of my feet, but I'm more on my toes. A little bit different push-up, more of a challenge than a traditional push-up or a traditional push-up on your knees. It's a total body routine today, getting your heart rate up, but also not ignoring your upper body. Uh, keep it going. Working at your own pace. Whatever that is. Whatever your all looks like, give it. <laughs> Competing against yourself today. It's you versus you. That's right. What do you got? Gonna impress yourself today. Going to exceed your own expectations. If that means you're going faster than us, great. And if that means you're just trying to do better than you did yesterday, that's great too just keep moving let's go let's go let's go how many can you get here last 10 seconds almost there 
And the further your head and upper body is over those hands, the harder that push up's gonna be. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Whew, and we're up on our feet. I'm moving into a star jump, so I'm sitting down, weighting my hips, coming up, big jump. And I am moving into jumping jacks, just like fifth grade PE. That's it, that traditional move. Bust them out. You decide which variation is gonna be right for you today. Either way, get full extension, pushing yourself, because nobody else can or will do it for you. You are a bouncy ball on these jumping jacks as well. It's all in your head, fighting through that burn. Mental toughness, right here, right here. That challenge you feel right now is where change happens. And without that challenge, there is no change. That's what we're working towards here, rep by rep, jump by jump. That's right. Getting a little bit better. Keep pushing, you're almost there. Last 10 seconds. Let's go, let's one. go. Make a count right here. In five, four, three, two, one. Ah, zero, nice. All right, moving to the floor for the next exercise, we're gonna get into a bear plank position. So start on all fours and then bring your knees up off the ground with a 90 degree angle all around. I'm gonna perform a bear plank, lateral shuffle, hopping side to side, put one leg out to the side. And as if you notice, I'm just doing a side step. So step out to the side, return your foot, and then do the opposite side. You decide which variation works best for you, but either way, I want you to keep that back straight like you could balance a glass of water on your back. Shoulders are retracted, nice and square. Hips and shoulders stay square to the floor, and you are breathing. Getting as many steps in as you can, keeping that pace up. Maintain a slight bend in your elbows. You don't wanna have your arms locked out. Remembering to breathe through the entire movement. That's a do great point. Do not hold your breath in this position. It will catch up to you if you do try to do so. Get that breathing going here. Let's go, let's go. You got 10 more seconds on this one, that's it. Fighting through, fighting through. You're a fighter, not a quitter. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Back up onto our feet. Next we're gonna do is gonna be a sumo deadlift plus either a frogger jump or a frogger step back. Feet are nice and wide. Sumo deadlift, weight back in your hips. Both hands on the floor. I'm gonna jump back with my feet wide, bring my knees up, and then back to my feet outside my hands and repeat. And as if you notice, the difference between mine is that I'm just stepping back into the wide stance, coming right back up into the same position, right back down. Again, you decide which one of these is gonna be appropriate for you today. Mine is definitely more challenging, more dynamic move, or maybe you wanna split it. Do half of mine, half of Claudia's. Whatever you do, we encourage you to make this work for you. Feet are out nice and wide on both that deadlift and the step back. And do not hold your breath. Come on, let's go. How many can you get right here? It's you versus you. In competition with that you from yesterday that couldn't do it. Coming back, repeating this routine, getting a little bit better every time. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Last 10 seconds. What do you got right here? Put it all out there. For five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Excellent. All right, next, we're going to the floor. Gladys beating me to it. <laughs> we're gonna do an ab exercise. Lying down flat, with their arms overhead. I'm gonna perform a lying leg raise plus crunch. And I'm gonna do a lying knee raise plus crunch. You decide which variation is right for you. I want you to glue that lower back to the floor. We don't want that lower back arching on this one. And for my variation, if you wanna make it just slightly harder, you can keep your feet in the air and then return with your knees back to your chest or you can rest your feet. Either way, 
your upper body and lower body are both coming up at the same time and you're contracting those abs in the middle. Good. Meeting in the middle. Well, great overall ab exercise. And chaos. That's it. Chaos burpee time. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with it. Five burpees, let's go. Fast as you can go. And then you're going right back into that lying knee or leg raise plus crunch. Good. Come on, get that heart rate up. And we're moving into that ab exercise. Good, however long it takes you to go, go through all five, feel free to do so. And you're lying right back down. Good, good, good. Making sure to breathe. Do not hold your breath. Excellent. Under control on this one. Those abs working and they are under control. Let's go, last 10 seconds. How many can you get pushing through that burn? You're, we're right there with you. Rep by rep for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Ooh. All right, we're onto our feet for the next one. Moving into a squat plus elbow to knee or a quarter squat. Feet are shoulder width apart. Hands are on our head. I'm gonna come all the way down into a full squat. Stand up, opposite elbow to knee, opposite elbow to knee, and repeat. And I'm doing a quarter squat. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee. And notice how on her quarter squat, she's still breaking at those hips. So it's not all on the knees, but she's just not going down as far. Either way, it's those hips that are going back. Definitely, so not so much the knee, but in the hips. Depending on, depending on how much those legs have left, you decide how far you wanna go down. That's right. And if you can't quite get your knee all the way to that elbow, that's all right, do the best you can. Trying to meet in the middle, working those abs at the same time. A great standing ab exercise here. You notice throughout today's workout, doing a lot of combo moves here, getting a lot of work in in a short period of time. That's right, we aim for max efficiency around here. That's it, because who's got time to be working out all day? Not me. Trying to get that result in as quick of time as possible. I wish I did. All right. Keep them moving here. Keep going. How many can you get? Pushing yourself here. Nobody else can or will do it for you. Keep it up, keep grinding, keep moving. Let's go. Every repetition, getting you just that much closer to your goals. Not holding our breath, still breathing, still moving, still working. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're staying on our feet for the next one. Feet are shoulders apart, doing a chopper. Let's go ahead and interlace those fingers. Bring those arms up and over, chop straight down. Opposite side now, arms up and over, chop. Up and over, chop. Like you have an ax in your hand and we're chopping wood. Get your whole body involved. Not just your arms and shoulders, but your abs, your legs all of the above and take it out right now let's go come on you got any stress that's weighing you down anything on your shoulders now is the time to work it out let's go come on make sure to breathe big power up overhead and straight down get those abs involved total body on this one making sure to breathe and chaos let's go come on five burpees how many how fast can you get these five done? And then we're moving right back into choppers. However long it takes you, get them done right here. Come on, push yourself, push yourself. And right back into choppers. Making sure to breathe. Come on, let's Ooh, go. I did it. We did it y'all. <laughs> we made right it through. There with you. Fighting with you, working with you together. Come on. How many can you get? Total body workout today. We're feeling it everywhere. Fighting through that burn. Let's go last 10 seconds. Pushing through, pushing through. Come on, we're almost there for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, next one we're gonna mimic a battling rope movement. 
I'm doing a lateral battling rope hop. And I'm doing hot feet. So I'm just moving my feet and pretending like I'm slamming some battling ropes down to the ground. So like we're holding two big ropes. If you haven't seen battling ropes, and we're using all of our power to slam those ropes to the floor. And I'm hopping side to side as I work my rope. And I'm doing hot feet, just as light as I can. Again, another total body move here. Everything's working together. Whatever you do, do not hold your breath. You will regret it. When those legs start to tell you they don't have anything left, you gotta push on. Those legs are lying to you. They got plenty left. It's all in your head. It's all mental. It's all about that mental toughness. Testing yourself right here. It's all in your head. You gotta win that war in between your ears. Come on, let's go. Pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. What do you got, Hasfit Tribe? Last 10 seconds on this one. Come on. Digging deep, digging deep. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. To the floor we go for another ab move. Lying down on our backs. Arms are out to our side. I'm gonna do a lying straight leg twist. And I'm going to do a knee twist. You decide which variation is right for you. Keeping that upper back flat on the ground. Feet and legs stay together. We're twisting side to side. Working those obliques and those abs as a whole. And you don't have to go all the way down to put your knees or your feet on the ground. You decide which range of motion is appropriate for you. That's right. You want to stay in a power zone where you have control and those abs are working. Good. Nice and controlled on this one. It's not going to be easier to just fling those legs back and forth, but keep them under control. Good, good, good. Stay focused, making sure to breathe. And chaos. Whoa. Up on our feet. Come on, I want to hit you with that one. Let's <laughs> go, five burpees. Let's do it. Again, getting them in as fast as you can. And then we're moving right back to the lying knee twist. Almost there, almost there. Right back into that ab move when you're done. Moving Woo. at your own pace, whatever that is. Those are awful. Come on. But so Awful, good. Awfully effective. They are, actually. Yeah. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Keep it going, Hazard Tribe. We are right there with you. Woo. Feeling that same burn you're feeling. All of a sudden, these legs feel like lead after those last burpees. That's Oof. it. Thousands, maybe millions of us at home feeling that same burn. That's right. You're feeling. I'm pushing through. We're all in it together, Hazard Tribe. I'm not allowed to stop. For five, four, three, Two, one, zero, excellent. All right, we're back up onto our feet for the next set, Hasfit Tribe. We're gonna do a lunge back touchdown. I'm doing a high knee, stepping back, touching the floor, knee up. And I am skipping the knee up altogether. So you decide if you wanna bring that knee up on every rep, or you just wanna bring that opposite foot to. Either way, we're bending over, keeping that back straight, touching the floor and then right back up. Ooh, I can already feel it in my glutes. That's it. You feel that drive off the heel of that lead leg, doing all one leg at a time, bending over on about a 45 degree angle as we bend over and touch the floor, and then drive straight back up. Ooh, work at your own pace here, people. Whatever that is, whatever your all looks like, give it. We're switching sides in five, four, three, two, one, opposite side, same move, and begin. Good. If you can, and you're doing that knee up, bring that opposite side arm up with you and drive with that elbow bent at a 90. Give you a little bit extra work there with the upper body. It takes a little more coordination. It's up to you if you want to incorporate that running move. Making sure to breathe. Grinding time, everybody. How many can you get right here? Come on, push yourself right here. 
exceed your own expectations. I want you to look in the mirror. That is your competition right here. Remember, those who believe they can and those who believe they can't are both right. Which one are you? Right here. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and zero. To the floor we go, a little upper body move, well, and lower body combo. <laughs> Coming up into a high plank position. I'm gonna go into a push up, lower, hold at the bottom. Perform a split, back together, and up. And I'm just doing the side step. So I'm in a high plank position, stepping side to side. If you're feeling froggy, and you're not quite ready for the push up, you can certainly just do the jack in yes. a high plank position. That's it, we're giving you all the tools here. You decide which variation is gonna work for you today. That's right. Whatever you do, just keep moving. Don't hit that pause button. Don't quit. Don't, don't give up on yourself. And don't stop breathing. That's it. Inhale and exhale to the hardest part of the movement, which if you're doing the push-up, it's on the way up. That's it, keep it up right here. That's right, not much left to go. Every time you come back, repeat this workout, you'll get just that much better at it. That's right, getting stronger. Last 10 seconds. What That's do you get it. right here? 10 seconds. Put it all out there all for right. five, four, three, two, one, ah, zero. Ooh. On your feet, we're doing a lateral hop next. I'm gonna do a one leg lateral hop. And I'm gonna do a two foot lateral hop. Stand nice and light on the balls of your feet, hopping side to side. Side to side. Nice and light, ground touches. Again, if you have neighbors underneath you, we don't want them to hear you. Keep breathing here, keep moving, let's go. Reminding yourself, what brought you here today? What is it? What are you working towards? Stay focused on it. And chaos, let's go. Woo. Five burpees, come on. What do you got right here? If you're doing the one leg version, when you come back, switch legs. Go, 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 come on. Get them done, get them done. Whoops, I accidentally did the hard one. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, if you're doing the one leg, there it is, we're almost there, Hats for a Tribe. Keep it up, come on. Whew. Make sure to breathe. Keep moving, keep fighting. Keep a slight bend in those knees. Don't want to have that leg locked out. Light touches, light touches. Come on. I know this is tough, but you're tougher. Prove it to yourself right here. It's all in your head. Think about how good you're going to feel when this workout is all said and done. That's right. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, Hasfit Tribe, we're back to the floor. I'm getting in a bare plank position, a position we were in earlier, and I'm doing shoulder touches. And I'm doing the exact same thing, except I am in a high plank position on my knees. Keep those shoulders square, back square to the ground, back is straight. We're touching opposite side shoulder. Try your best not to rock too much, but instead keep everything nice and stable and breathe. And if you need something that's in between these two movements, then feel free to do it from a high plank position. Just keep moving. This one doesn't look like too much, but man, will it catch up with you. Sure will. Especially if you're not breathing appropriately. Keep a slight bend in those elbows. Don't have your arms locked out. Let's go, let's go. How many can you get? Racing against yourself right here. Coming back, repeating this routine, getting a little bit better every time. Let's go. You versus you, right here. Come on, let's go, let's go. Working towards that goal. Every touch, every step, getting just that much closer. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We're on our feet, Ooh. almost there. Almost there. Arms are overhead. Right leg, left leg. I'm gonna go overhead, high knees. And I'm doing overhead run in place. You decide which one is right for you. Like you're running towards the finish line. But this is a finisher. <laughs> Speaking of finish, this is a finisher made to finish you off. That's right. Let's sprint towards that line, let's go. All right, Hasfit Tribe. Now's the time to dig deep. Remind yourself of what brought you here. What's your why? What made you hit that play button today? 
trying to lose weight, gain muscle, just get in better shape overall and kick butt at life, whatever it is, focus on it. That's right. All mental right here. Chaos. Woo. Last time. Let's go. Five burpees. What do you got? Come on. Don't let off that gas. Everything you got. Last five burpees. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost there. And then we're right back into it. Come on. Almost there, has we try. Sprint to that finish line. Let's go. Prove I'm sprinting yourself. with you. Prove to yourself how tough you are today. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Almost there, almost there. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Ha. Claudia. Leave me hanging. You made it. You made it out there, has fit try. Whew. Ah. My goodness. Nice work. It was not easy, but it was worth it. All right, let's move to the floor and we're gonna get into a high plank position. So up on our hands and our feet with our straight back. I'm gonna perform an opposite arm and leg extension. And I'm going to be performing an arm extension. So you decide which variation is right for you. We're not gonna count any repetitions today, just working at your own pace and getting in as many reps in as we can. But at the same time, really wanna stay under control with this one. So we don't wanna get too crazy with the pace where you're losing your balance and you're not able to maintain uh, your shoulders square to the floor. Keep a slight bend in both elbows. Keep your head in line with your spine and be sure to keep breathing. And you'll know on this one, it's not about being perfect. You may lose your balance here or there. It's just about putting in the work and getting a little bit better every time you repeat this workout. Making sure to breathe. Bring that opposite arm and leg up or just alternating arms. Keep it moving here. Not much left on this first one. One right into the next here. Last 10 seconds. You got it good. Almost there for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Keeping the pace up, moving into the next one. We're gonna do a high plank walkout. So from my feet, I'm walking out to an extended position and back up. And the easier modification for that would be to drop down to your knees and perform the walkout. You decide which variation is appropriate for you today. And it's totally okay if you start with one variation and then you move on to the next one. Again, do not hold your breath. You will regret it. Trying your best to get full extension while keeping your back straight and not allowing your butt to go up into the air. This is a total core move here, hitting every abdominal muscle. Very functional move as well. Again, do not hold your breath. Not much left on this one either. Come on, keep it going, Hansford Tribe. Grind it out, grind it out. Focus on those goals. Focus on what made you hit that play button today to begin with. Come on, almost there. Last 10 seconds. How many can you get? How far can you get? Test yourself. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, we're turning over to our backs for the next one. We're gonna do a hollow body pullover. So lying on our backs. First move is gonna be to tuck your chin, bring those shoulder blades up off the ground. Then I'm gonna put my legs out straight. And I'm gonna have my knees bent. And then we're gonna do a pullover with your arms. Full extension, with those palms facing up to facing down. Just isometrically holding this position. Want to glue that lower back to the floor on this one. And you can do that by bringing that chin up. And if you can't quite keep it there, that's where you bend those knees just to make it a little bit easier. Neither one of these moves are easy though. You got hard and harder. Come on, let's go. Starting to feel that burn. Pushing through it, push through it. Come on, let's go. You are stronger than that burn. Focusing on that goal. Focus on what it is you're working towards. Remember, it's not about how bad you want it. It's about how hard you're willing to work for it. 
And that's what you're doing right here, right now. Let's go, Hatchfit Tribe. Grind it out. And we're right there with you, feeling that same burn, that same pain you're feeling. Thousands, maybe millions of ohm feeling it together. Let's go. Getting stronger together. Last 10 seconds. Make it count. Make it count. Come on. What do you got? What do you got? And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Stand down on our backs for the next one. I'm moving into a punch plus sit up. And I am doing a punch plus a crunch. So I'm bringing my shoulder blades up off the ground. And I'm coming all the way up and we're punching across, alternating arms. And so as you come up, you're performing a twisting punch, punching to that opposite side. You wanna exhale as you punch, inhale as you come back down. Keeping that constant tension on those abs. Trying not to relax too much down at the bottom. One right into the next. Working at your own pace here. Feeling that burn. Working through it. Working together, guys. Come on. Let's go, Hesfi Tribe. Let's go. What do you got right here? Prove it to yourself. Not competing with us. Not competing with anybody else. Whew. Just competing with the you that couldn't do it yesterday. But you're getting it done today. Thinking about how good you're going to feel when this workout is all done. And you can check it right off your list. Let's go, tribe. Come on. Push it. One into the next. You're an animal. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Let's see it right here. Last 10 seconds. Burn them out. Burn them out. Whew. I'm burning right there with you for five, four, three, two, one, ah, zero. Moving into a high plank position for this next one. Keep the pace up. We're on that forearm into a side plank position. I'm on both feet. And I'm going to be on one knee with the other leg extended. We're going to do a reach through and twist. Reach through and twist. Keep that core tight. Back stay straight. Reaching through, you're getting a nice twist. And then as you reach up, I want you to look up at that hand. Again, nice controlled moves on this one. Try not to use momentum. Keeping that back straight. You don't want your hips up and you don't want them dipping. Again, keep breathing. Do not hold your breath. We're gonna split half and half on each side. Let's go, let's go, come on. And if you need to switch it up halfway through, do a different variation, feel free to do so. Ooh, definitely getting a double bonus glute burn over here. Ooh, we like it for <laughs> switching in five, four, three, two, one. Same move, just turn over opposite side now and keep it up. Let's go. What do you got, Hasfit Tribe? Put it all out there, all on the line right now. If it were easy, everybody be fit, everybody be in great shape, but we know that's not the case. That's what makes you so special for showing up today and putting in that work. Come on. And that work is the only thing that stands between you and your goal. Just gotta put it in, day in, day out, Keep showing up. And that's what you're doing right here. Come on, let's go. Ooh, feeling those obliques burning. Even a little extra credit glute work. But keep it moving here. Last 10 seconds. Come on, grind it out, grind it out. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nice. All right, we're transitioning back to our backs. Lying back flat. I'm gonna do a lying leg twist. And I'm gonna do a lying knee twist. So keep those hands out for balance. I'm have my legs up straight and I'm twisting side to side. And of course I'm doing the exact same thing, but I have my knees going side to side. Keep your upper back flat on the floor. Try not to let it come off the floor while you do this one. And if you don't quite have the flexibility to get a full range of motion, that's okay. Do the best you can. But what we don't want to happen is to be bouncing your knees or your legs off the ground. Get as far as you can without actually bouncing your lower body off the floor. Staying under control, 
Another great move for those obliques. One into the next. Again, under control on this one. Shouldn't be using momentum or flapping your legs back and forth. But that constant time under tension is your key to getting those rock hard abs along with what you're doing with your knife and your fork and your proper nutrition, of course. Come on, let's go. More than halfway done with this one. Keep pushing, keep moving. Not much left has for the tribe. Come on, think about what brought you here. What is it? What are you working towards? Every rep getting you just that much closer. Last 10 seconds. Let's see it right here. What do you got? What do you got for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, we're coming up now. We're gonna lean back on a 45 degree angle with those hands back behind us. I'm gonna bring my feet up and at the same time, bring my knees in and twist. And I'm doing the exact same thing, except I am resting my feet in between each knee tuck. You decide if you wanna keep those feet up in between for more of a challenge, or if you wanna rest your feet down in between for a little easier go of it. Both are hard moves. We got hard and harder here today. Come on, almost there. Grind it out with this Hatsby Tribe. Last one. How many can you get on this last one? Stand back on that 45 degree angle, which is gonna help us to keep that constant tension on those abs. You don't wanna lean too far forward. Let them relax. But instead, it's all about that constant time under tension. Here it is, right here, right now. Finish strong, Hatsby Tribe. Finish strong. Come on, keep moving, keep grinding. Almost there, almost there. Let's go, last 10 seconds. What do you got? Put it all out there. Don't save anything. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. <sighs> and that is it, That's my friends. That's a wrap. Ah. All right, we're gonna move into a cool down as we catch our breath here. Let's go ahead and come down to one knee. We're gonna do a kneeling hip stretch. We're gonna allow our heart rates to come down and gain a little bit extra flexibility at the same time. So we're gonna put our hands on our hips. I want you to squeeze your glutes and squeeze your abs. Now gently come forward and feel that stretch here. It doesn't take much of a range of motion. Just keep those glutes squeezed and you only have to move on an inch. You'll feel it in that quad and in that hip flexor. Nice, big deep breaths here. Focus on allowing that heart rate to come down. Glutes stay squeezed Ooh. for five, four, three, two, one. All right, switching sides now, same move. Opposite side, leg in front. Again, start by squeezing those glutes. That's your first move, squeeze those abs, and then gently come forward and breathe. Nice, big deep breaths here. Keep those glutes squeezed. Again, it only takes about a one to two inch range of motion on this one for you to really feel that stretch in your hip flexor and quad. Did a lot of work on those quadriceps and hip flexors today, so it's nice to give them some recovery work for three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna come down to the floor now. We're gonna move into a sprinter stretch. Another stretch for that quadricep. So let's put our left leg out in front. Bring our right foot back. I'm gonna show you a couple different variations. You can have that foot out to the side and then gently lean back. Or as Claudia will show you, you can tuck that foot under a little bit more and then lean back. You decide which variation is right for you and how far you wanna lean back. Some people can go all the way back down on their backs, but again, go with what feels comfortable. And on these static stretches, you wanna to go to about maybe 85, 90% of what you're capable of. You wanna feel a good stretch, but you shouldn't be feeling real pain here either. So it's a nice happy medium between getting a good stretch and making sure you're not hurting yourself. Again, nice big deep breaths. Focus on getting that heart rate down. A lot of work put in today. For three, two, one, zero. Come on up and let's switch legs now. Same move, bring that opposite leg back. And you might find that one side is a little bit more flexible than the other. And that's totally common working through it. 
and that's why we're putting in the work mm -hmm. just getting a little bit better every workout a little more flexible and as you work out you discover things about yourself that you didn't know before in reference to imbalances you know one side's tighter than the other one side's stronger than the other yeah finding weaknesses yep and it's important when you do find those weaknesses that you start to work on them do not ignore them no because then they're <laughs> just gonna get worse but that's definitely something you find any specific imbalances you know whether it's a shoulder or knee whatever it may be you can locate one of our other videos that will help you isolate and resolve that problem holding it for three two one zero come on up we're going to turn over and come on to all fours or knees and hands next we're going to do a wrist extension stretch i want you to turn those hands around so those fingers are pointed straight at you now the more you lean back in those palms on the ground the more of a stretch you're going to feel again using that same rule from earlier we're going to go to a point where we get about 80 90 percent of, of what we're capable of but we don't want to overdo it we spent a lot of time on our, our hands today so i want to give those wrists a good stretch they take a lot of beating in our day-to-day -day life from texting typing driving etc we don't always think about it but they get a lot of work in so it's important that you're stretching out those wrists as well if you have tight wrists or experiencing wrist pain doing things like push-ups again recommend checking out our wrist stretching video just a few minutes a day can make a big difference for five four three two one zero come on four turn those hands around and move into a couple of yoga inspired moves next we're going to move into a cat cow so let's go ahead and start by bringing that chin into your chest and pulling up from the middle of your back rounding that back like you have a string in the middle of your back and somebody's pulling up on it and now let's reverse it bring that abdomen sternum to the floor as you retract those shoulders and bring your chin up to the ceiling and reverse again this time pulling up from the middle of your back chin goes into your chest nice big stretch and reverse one last time again sternum comes into the floor and chin comes up shoulders are retracted and lastly let's go ahead and sit back into that child's pose position sitting back onto your heels arms are out straight in front of you biceps by your ears shoulders relaxed get a nice full stretch stretching everything from your ankles quadriceps shoulders lower back glutes all stretching and working on this one i want you to take a couple big deep breaths here take a moment to pat yourself on the back be proud of what you've achieved so far today if exercise were easy if being healthy were easy then everybody be fit but we both know that's not the case it is hard work and that's what makes you so special for showing up and putting in the work today and that's why you're going to show up again in your next scheduled workout day and do it again and you're making this a lifestyle it's not a temporary fix this is just the way you are the way you live because you understand that you are worth it and you want to be around long enough to fulfill your purpose big deep breaths here for five four three two one zero come on up nice and slow or stay where you're at or stay where you're at you know we got you know the drill we got to stand required. up <laughs> i'll tell you what i felt every bit of that one today you were so i think i could use max. a shower i don't know what you guys think maybe <laughs> maybe a clean shirt thank you so much for working out with us today we ask that you please support our mission of keeping these great workouts free you can do so by going and downloading our free app it's available for both Android and iOS. You can also stop by our store, pick up a nice dry t-shirt <laughs> or- Never been worn right? t-shirt. <laughs> or our new diet guide, Eating for Life. And we know that you enjoy this workout routine with us today. So we ask that you give it a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss another brand new routine from HasFit. Again, thank you so much for giving us the privilege of working out with you today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.